What's up everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution where we talk about everything under the moon in the crypto universe. Today is Friday, March 18th, and today we're going to be talking about a new Solana-based blockchain game. And that game is called Angelic. Now, Angelic is an RPG game that's both a AAA game and also a metaverse merge. Now we're going to learn about what this project's been building over the past few days, some recent announcements, and also what the roadmap may look like in the coming months ahead. Now with that said, as always, if you like the content, be sure to smash up that like button, subscribe to the channel, join our Patreon page, and make sure to be very careful with those scammers down in the comments below. I'll never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email, so please be careful and invest safely. So what is Angelic? So I recently found this out within the past couple days. And the reason I found out about this is because they had some major backing, which we're going to talk about a little bit. Now, at first, when I wrote into these websites, sometimes they don't really have much developed. But when I just hopped on the website, it seems to have developed kind of a lot of different things. Now, they have so many different descriptions in here describing what this is. Now, basically, you're an angel and you need to know what role of angels you are. But to understand the ranks of angels, this is how it describes it. Now, Angelic combines turn-based strategy combat with a narrative RPG, all backed by collaboratively crafting science fiction setting thanks to blockchain technology, getting ready to shape a massive conflict in the dark and compelling universe of Angelic. It will not be an easy journey, and each action will have deep echoing repercussions. But don't worry, you won't have to do it alone. So obviously, these are the different angels, and then there's uh, an old powerful being, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. Now, there is this metaverse universe that's happening within that game. Simply, it says, Angelix features a collaborative development between the developers and the fans. United, we expand the universe. Backed by the blockchain, you can create cosmetic items, ships, and even hero NFTs to use or trade them. Thanks to their DAO mechanism, our community will have a significant governance over the game and IP. So DAOs allow you to have influence over the game and its roadmap ahead. So at least you can feel like you're a part of it. This is common that we see, and I can understand that they have definitely done the research here. You're considered not a human anymore. In fact, you're considered a phoenix, which is a unique neo-human prototype. And so we want to talk about who's in charge of all this. And this is uh, a section that I think is really interesting. So you get to be the captain of your own ship. But Iset is the very first neo-human ever created and practically the mother of many other angels. And trust you captaining her own ship, Osiris. Now. As you can see on the right hand side, this person may be Iset, and that means that they're going to be kind of like your boss. Now on the bottom it says, enter the angelic metaverse, play the base game and enjoy the narrative. Join the multiplayer mode, participate in colony wars, forge alliances, fight co-op missions, or optionally create and trade your NFTs and stake angelverse tokens, which we'll talk about in a little bit, to gain governance rights. Now what I'm kind of seeing here is that this actually reminds me of a game that was built on the Ethereum blockchain. And I will compare that game in a little bit as well. But let's talk about the backing, right? Because recently they have raised $10 million in investment for their Metaverse gaming studio. So they are really stepping up in the category of Metaverse rather than GameFi, even though they really are both. But that's how these articles are really portraying it. Now, some of these partners are pretty big. Solana Ventures in every realm are the leaders of that space. Now, down below... The Animoca Brands co-founder and executive chairman said this, Angelic is building a massively multiplayer metaverse with a deep gameplay layer enriched by a sophisticated backstory. We believe this is the right approach to help bridge the divide between blockchain games and AAA titles. Now, if you look at their partnerships that they've had recently and these people who have funded the project, this is the list right here. Now, the ones that really stand out are Pantera Capital, Solana Ventures, Animoca Brands, Every realm. So I'm pretty much familiar with those. And then there's also Hebe Ventures, which is a huge global exchange in Asia. And there's also Gate.io, which is also a great exchange for swapping gaming tokens. Now, other than that, what else is building here? You got to look at the team's development. So this is the team's experience, the people that have made this game. And as you can see, they're all over the place from Crytek, Bungie, Oculus, Riot Games, which we know of. And then further down, they have people from Netflix. Again, we'll talk about how the movie industry kind of is involved in this project, and we'll talk about that with one specific person who is unnamed, apparently. But also we have Halo Games, League of Legends, Metro Exodus, Far Cry, Cyberpunk as well. I mean, obviously there is a lot of experience within the team. Now, it's really good to know that there are some AAA Game Studio faculty members that are transitioning from the centralized gaming world to the decentralized gaming world. So that's really cool to see. 
Now further down, we're going to go to the next slide, which is meeting the team members. So there are a few that kind of stood out to me. Say, for instance, uh, Urkon was a representative and investment specialist at a U.S.-based fund under the J.P. Morgan Chase & Company and is still mentoring under various investment funds and accelerator programs. And another person is Pita, which is another industry veteran at our team and was a lead programmer of the original Far Cry at Crytek. He also worked on Bungie, and at Bungie, they worked on Halo, and he was the lead programmer there. Further down, I found this really interesting. So this person is actually a mysterious person. They say here, we have a hidden hero here who is leading our animation department. He has a solid knowledge on AAA games and blockbuster Hollywood titles. Hint, Venom, the movie. We cannot reveal his identity at this stage, which is interesting. Just know this, we are promising you an immersive, massively multiplayer game and a cinematic single player version. So there is a reason why we have an animation team lead with both Hollywood level experience and AAA game development pass. Now, I'm not sure if this person hasn't left their centralized job and maybe they can't reveal their name just yet, or they just really want to keep their identity on hold because maybe uh, there is something going on behind the scenes that we don't know. So, and I respect that. That's completely fine. And then there's a whole bunch of other people that I'm not going to go too far in a little bit, but those people stood out to me the most. Now, the game is going to be tested on Steam. And as I brought up in my previous videos, Steam is not adopting any blockchain games or supports the idea of NFTs. Now, if you notice in this game, the graphics are actually quite interesting. And also the storyline is quite interesting. And what they're trying to tell you is a narrative between these angels going throughout the universe with their motherships and fighting and owning land and also fighting other creatures so that they can actually earn some tokens. And there are two different tokens. There's a governance token and then there's an in-game currency token. And then this one, we can see that you can customize your characters with weapons, designs, body art, whatever you want. This is going to happen on the mothership that you have, and that is Osiris. Remember, Eset is basically the person who has given you the opportunity to be a phoenix, which is not the regular human. So in this gameplay, you can see what's going on. And basically, in my perspective, they have a great storyline, a great narrative behind it. And this is why they bring pretty much Hollywood blockbuster people, because Hollywood tends to tell better stories. And that's really important because you just don't want to sell just uh, this idea of owning assets. You want to share with people how to live in a story. That to me is immersive as well. Now, this game does remind me of another game based on the Ethereum blockchain, which is called Alluvium. And the problem with Alluvium that I feel is lacking this narrative, this storyline between each character. And as you can see here, they are speaking lines, they're saying their concerns. And also this character right here, which is Eset, you can decide where you're gonna be and you can even hide your ship and disguise it once you're on different planets. And it's gonna be holographic like here, and then how it disappears, but you can have pods that drop down to the floor. And that's where your warriors will descend and merge with the planet. So once your pod lands, your pod will disappear. And you see like right there, it disappears. And as these hexagon squares describe, that's kind of like alluvium, but better because it's built on the Solana blockchain, which means that is cheaper transaction fees and faster transactions, period. So just looking at this battle gameplay is actually quite exciting. And I'm actually excited to see what this is gonna be once it fully releases and that we can actually earn some money off of this. Now let's talk about the tokenomics and economics. So there are two different tokens. First one is the Angelverse token, which is in ticker symbol Angel. Now none of these tokens are available right now. Hopefully we get some more info on that on their Twitter page. But the Angel token is a governance token. The only token that's gonna be used to exchange for NFTs on the Angelic Marketplace. Now you can buy, sell NFTs with this token. You can stake it as well to get staking rewards and also staking NFT for prizes. But it is not an in-game resource. That's what Neocoin is. Neocoin is the in-game play to earn reward currency that allows players to upgrade their NFTs and exchange NFTs on their in-game marketplace. So it's a reward token. You can use this primarily in the game for upgrading NFTs. You can deposit and withdraw from the game. So Endcoin can be spent in the game and will be burnt automatically. So what this tells me is that there's going to be a smaller supply of Angel because it's a governance token, but there's going to be a ton of these Neocoin tokens, especially if they're being burned. That's kind of how it works in this in this uh, blockchain universe. Another thing is their meta estates. So we're, this is something that we've always talked about in, on this channel, which is owning real estate or meta estates within the metaverse. And so this is kind of describing how it all works. So you can take, for instance, if you want to construct something 
you want to construct your meta state, you can use either Angelverse or Neocoin. In order to have these estates, you have to have a few things. You know, you have to have resources like materials, crafting components, and then there has to be a certain level of requirement, meaning meaning uh, that you have to have a certain amount of experience, a tier level, in order to construct something. That incentivizes you to play the game even more. And then there are these stones that also add on to help construct the building as well. And then you have a construction framework. And then later on, once you do that, you can construct or buy your meta estate, but no matter what, you own 100% of that estate within that metaverse. So that's really cool. Further down, what about buying and renting? Well, this is a little different, but not too different. Again, it does involve both the Neocoin and Angelverse coin, but it's like limited. So you don't need as much, uh, you don't need the stones or the level requirement to rent or buy these estates. You just need those currencies. But no matter what, again, you will own 100% if you were to buy it. By renting it, you're also paying in a currency, and that may be Neocoin, but again, we'll find out once the game comes out, and we'll go from there. Last but not least, let's just talk about the roadmap. Now, the roadmap right now is around Q1 closing of 2022, so they're expanding their team. But in Q2, which is going to be happening just by next month, they're going to have NFT airdrops, and they're going to be having a playable demo for us to test out, so I do look forward to that. We're going to see a public round of funding. Hopefully, we'll see the coins be listed on exchanges. Hopefully, it's either on Radium or any other Solana-based swap or blockchain uh, exchange, so that would be really exciting. Then in 2022 Q3 of the second, uh, it will have a demo release that's kind of probably be fully more integrated than the playable demo, and then there'll be more angel core nft sales and then there will be initiation of the council of the angels which is the dao and then the most exciting thing is we got to wait until 2023 q2 q3 is which is when they expect the game to be kind of fully launched globally so we look forward to that and i hope to be able to play this in the near future again i will keep you guys updated in more videos as this develops now the last thing I want to share with you guys is the 50,000 angel token giveaway. Now this isn't thanks to their fundraising that they recently had and they want to give back to the community. And all you have to do is just participate in this and it's actually quite easy to sign up. March 14th to March 21st and 21st through the 28th of March, you can participate in this. So these reward distributions will be two weeks after the TGE launch. Now, all you have to do is just follow their Twitter page, retweet it, join their Telegram, and also answer a question. That question is basically including your Solana wallet so that they can airdrop you these angel tokens. And that's pretty much it. I do wish you guys well. Be sure to do this the right way. And uh, yeah, good luck to everybody out there. This is something that I'm glad to share with you guys. Well, that wraps it up, guys. This is Angelic. I hope you liked the video, how we described how the funding is helping this game launch into the new sci-fi metaverse world. And also we discussed what the team was like and also the tokenomics and the roadmap and also the giveaway. So please definitely rewatch all this if you need to relearn all of this at the end. Guys, thank you so much. If you like this video, be sure to like that button, subscribe to the channel, join our Patreon page, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Cryptolution. Register on our Patreon page for our insider training tips and more. And don't forget to click on the affiliates link below to receive sign up bonuses and access the Global Crypto Assets Exchange. Invest safely, and we'll see you on the next episode of Cryptolution.